what do you know? We've got another broken pipe under another large oak tree. Except this time, we're not gonna use the shovel. We're gonna use water to dig. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, I've already gotten started, but the whole idea behind this is instead of using your shovel to dig with, we can use water to open up the hole without beating up the tree too much. Now, when I do eventually get all this opened up to where I want it, I'm gonna turn the system on and determine whether or not I'm gonna cut this tree root in front of me. I don't want to, but ultimately if it's in my way of making the repair, I'm gonna to have to. But as you can see, it's just this easy to dig. You just spray the hose into it, flood this whole thing out, and then I'll take my hand pump right over there and pump the water out and do it again. If I had a Milwaukee battery pump, this would be a lot easier. Milwaukee, if you're watching, I could use one. All right, let's pump it out. I'm not really sure what part of this is leaking yet. Let's see if we can get you to see inside the hole here. There we go. We've got some pipes and they're gonna be hard to see because, oh, there they are. There's your 90 and your T connected to it, but it's right underneath that root. We're gonna kick the system on, see where the water's coming out from, and then determine if we're gonna cut that root or not. Ultimately, if the repair has to happen right underneath that root, I'm gonna have to make the cut to make the repair. Well, I turned it on and it turns out that it is broken right before this T here. Right on that black line that you can kind of see in there, that's where it's broken. And as you can also see, it's right underneath that tree root. I could probably cut the pipe where it's at with the tree root in the way, but I'm not gonna be able to get a fitting onto that because there's also more tree roots grabbing that pipe and pushing it down. Let me get this tree root out of the way and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, three cuts later and it's out of our way. Now we can get to the broken pipe that's under here. We just gotta pump out all that water that ended up down there. And there's our pipe in all of its glory. And as you can see, the failure here is either a bad glue joint or the tree just decided to separate the pipe. And you can see this has been going on for a little while. You see the little divots in the pipe, right? And I don't think I'm gonna get my finger in here. That's too much. The little divots in the pipe are where the water was spraying out of that fitting. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of our way and put a cap right beyond that gray glue mark. All right, enough with the phone camera. Let's put this down and go with the meta glasses so we can be hands-free while we go ahead and make this repair. We're gonna get in here with the cable saw because that's the easiest one. And I don't know if I'm gonna use any more of that pipe or not. So I'm gonna make the cut as close to the T as possible. And then I'm gonna try to get this fitting out of here carefully. We're also going to cut this out of our way. There we go. Now we got to the fitting here or to the pipe rather. That pipe is sitting right on top of a tree root here. We'll have to make do with what we have. All right, before I go any further, I'm gonna go over to the controller, flip on the zone, and see which side the water comes out. If it comes out the side that the three-quarter pipe is on, we're gonna put a cap over it, and we're done here.